If you're not yet playing guitar as fast and as clean as you want, then make sure you're not making either of these two very common picking hand mistakes that could be killing your gains. You don't want to be looking back and forth between the picking and fretting hand for each note while you're practicing or most importantly while you're playing. That takes so much mental energy, it's going to be impossible to play well, you're going to make a ton of mistakes. And when you're performing for somebody, you should already have the picking hand motions down so well by that point that you can get away with just looking at your fretting hand because your fretting hand is the one doing most of the motions while you're playing. That's where a lot more unpredictability exists. You can mess up some position shift and mistakes can happen that way. So that's where your attention needs to be while you're playing. But while you're practicing, while you're still trying to figure out the ideal picking hand motions or you're changing something in your pick grip or whatever, that's when you want to give your picking hand 100% of your attention. Just watch your picking hand only. Don't watch your fretting hand at all, even if it makes mistakes, doesn't matter. Just watch your picking hand, figure out what it needs to do, learn those motions until they become part of your muscle memory. That's how you can get away with looking at your fretting hand and not worry about the picking hand because it's going to be trained well enough to do its job. This leads me to a second related mistake you could be making in your picking hand and killing your gains in the process without realizing it. Try this. Cover the strings with your fretting hand like this and go through the motions with the pick of the lick you're trying to get faster with. And if you're doing it right, you will be able to go through the motions even if you have to slow way down without having to look at this hand at all or think about what the notes you're fretting with this hand at all. You're just going to be able to focus on the picking hand and get all the motions right like this. But if you have to look at this hand every few notes and ask yourself, okay, am I playing this note with the middle finger? So that means in here it's a downstroke. Oh wait, no, it's an upstroke. And then you're having to like jump between looking here and looking here every few notes. That's a sign you don't really know the motions of this hand yet. Shout out to Tom Hess, my good friend and longtime guitar teacher for this awesome technique tip. This is something I learned from him and it's a fantastic way to make sure you really know what you're supposed to be doing with each hand, build maximum awareness over your entire guitar playing mechanism and that's what's going to enable you to play fast and make it feel easy. If you want more help with building your guitar speed, check out the link in the description of this video or go to the page on the screen right now. I'm going to show you a free one hour masterclass called Guitar Speed Formula. What it is, is a way to practice to build speed that doesn't require you to start slow and gradually build speed in small increments because, let's face it, that way of building speed kind of sucks. There are many more ways that are way more effective, a lot more enjoyable, and that work much faster. So if you want to know one of these ways, check out the link in the description of the video, enter your email address, I'll send you the video for free. And if you like these fast acting guitar technique tip videos, then check out this video right here where I break down some of the most common fretting hand technique errors that could be killing your gains, but they're very simple and very quick to correct the very same day you learn about them. So watch that video next.